Hey, I'm Jason Doring. I'm going to watch a few clips with TV Guide here and talk about thoughts and stuff like that. So this was our first kiss. Rob told us this like two or three episodes in uh, when we were like so good to be mean to each other that he said we're going to get you guys together and we were both like what the f Couldn't believe that this was going to happen so we had to like warm up to this. Didn't know it was going to be a big thing at all. Rob came up to me at a party one time and he said Jace, Jace. He had had like, you know, he was having a good time and he's like I rewatched that kiss and that was so earned and i thought it was just a, such a good term for a writer to use should we get going logan was somewhat dreading this scene but i thought it'd be cool to do a quick shift like to have like be okay okay and then dead like just dying i think just instantly break down and i i think that was cool i think there was other lines written that i couldn't even say as i was crying or whatever but um that was it like mom and family, that was important to Logan, I think. And as a keen observer of the human condition, I thought you saw through people better than that. When we initially rehearsed this, uh, I think it was a lot like quieter and whatever, and not maybe as loose and stuff. And I remember, I think it was Michael Fields directed this episode because he was so proud of the way it turned out. I think I was watching like a lot of James Dean stuff at the time, so like just trying to copy one of the best. I thought our story was epic, you know? I know that they've gone through so much pain and trouble and ups and downs and it's just such a weird relationship, you know, like between them and I think that it was so complicated and two people that were so emotional and ups and downs. I think she's so beautiful and open and honest and uh, almost gonna kiss and then she just has to get out of there, you know, pretty cool. Logan, move away from him. <laughs> yeah, I remember filming this for like 17 hours at night and I felt bad for Kristen. Her schedule was brutal and uh, she did so great in the scene. So emotional. I think one of our best episodes, I thought Kyle was so vulnerable in this scene. You know what I mean? Like you can make a person really evil or whatever, or you can make it from the inside, like really understanding why he was upset. And I think he did a great job of that. I felt that jump was a little fake. Sorry about that. Not your average teenage show. So this was the point in the um, movie when they get together, which people are probably cheering for. It was so funny. Rob was directing the film. And, you know, we're not like, obviously, we're actors and we're not doing anything. So he would have to tell us when sex had begun or whatever, for lack of better words. So he would scream out on this bullhorn. He'd be like, three, two, one, penetration. And we were both like, oh, God. Do you, Logan? Take Veronica as your lawfully wedded wife. Kristen has like a sparkle in her eyes all the time. So like, it's super cool. Rico was crying on in the takes and he's like, God, you guys look like you're in love there. Yeah. And then I die. Logan! Ah!